The upcoming November 15th fight with Jake Paul could be the easiest money that all-time boxing great Mike Tyson ever made. His former coach Jeff Fennec told The Mirror recently. But, despite thinking this, Fennec said his advice to Tyson would be to not fight Paul in an official bout that mega-broadcaster Netflix airs from the ATT Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tyson is one of the most beloved athletes in all combat sports and has a deep body of work from his fights in the 1980s through to the 90s, and the early 2000s, which includes big bouts against Trevor Burbick, Larry Holmes, Frank Bruno, Buster Douglas, Razor Ruddock, Evander Holyfield, and Lennox Lewis. Tyson, though, left pro sport in 2005 as he suffered three losses in his last four fights including stoppage defeats to Danny Williams and Kevin McBride. Fighters had have beaten with ease had he fought them anywhere near his prime. Paul has long proclaimed that Hell Bank approximately $40 million for his role in the Netflix Super event which he headlines alongside Tyson. Who, he said will earn around half that amount at $20 million. Though Tyson has earned similar amounts on the past. It is this fight in particular which could be his easiest payday to date. That's according to Jeff Fennec, a former coach of Tyson's. Who told The Mirror, realistically, if Mike uses upstairs and nothing else, and does the right things, this could be the easiest money he's ever made. When you're both throwing punches, it's a 50-50 thing who lands, said Fennec. Fennec continued, Mike just needs to use his common sense, don't try to punch when he's punching, make him miss and make him pay. Despite this. Fennec still says that if it were up to him, had rather him not fight at all. One of the biggest women's fights of all time. Between Katie Taylor who won the first bout in 2022 and Amanda Serrano, gets its well-deserved due over on. The Netflix show serves as a brilliant co-main event. Elsewhere on the card, Mario Barrios returns to the ring for a WBC welterweight world title defense against Abel Ramos and Bruce Carrington one of the rising stars at featherweight, could fight an eight-rounder against Dana Coolwell.